My name is Alexander Sosel. I'm a CEO and a co-founder from Evolo. We are based here in Germany, in Karlsruhe. And I want today to talk about um, aviation pioneering and about aviation future. First, I want to talk about aviation pioneering. Um, last year, we did the first, worldwide, the first flight with a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It can fly like a helicopter, but it's all electric. what we've done last year. Um, for that, we needed one year uh, of um, counting. And also, we have to develop the electric motors and the rotors and everything, because with components you can buy in this moment, uh, that doesn't work. So there's a, uh, really also a development stage behind that. And we brought from the from a toy, from a quadrocopter, everybody knows you can steer with your iPad or with your iPhone. We brought this to real aviation. This, uh, this is um, 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 a really funny thing. You see somebody sitting on a yoga ball and flying. And, um, but we decided after that um, to go to the real aviation. And for that, we got a worldwide recognition for that video. Uh, in the first 10 days, we had 1 million clicks on the video, and now it's more than 5 million on the video. And we had more than 200 TV reports all over the world, and we counted more than 100,000 reports in blogs online. And we, found, we won also the Lindbergh Foundation Prize this year. This is the biggest prize in the aviation for innovation. And so uh, we have the luxury that our uh, project is in the whole media all over the world. Okay, now um, Jan wrote the electric helicopter. We don't call it helicopter because a helicopter is a completely different uh, device. We call it Volocopter. It's a new name, but it's a completely new kind of aircraft. The difference, the main difference is we have a really easy and simple Mechanics. There's just no moving parts. It's really maintenance free. It can fly automatically. You see it in the video. The first test was were unmanned. And if you don't do anything, it, it hovers on a spot. So we have only say forward, backward, and down. It's very safe to fly because um, we have a high redundancy, high redundancy system. We have not only one uh, board computer, we have uh, 18 board computers like intelligent swarm intelligence who control themselves. It's efficient, it's simple and reliable, and uh, it will be later affordable because also of the uh, maintenance free costs. And so also it will be uh, green aviation because there's no pollution while flying and it's all electric. And the next point, it's really, really much, much quieter than a helicopter. So, but what we do with that flying on the yoga ball, that's not what we can sell later. So, we want to make a, a, a cool design and also a safe design. Here you see a design of a one-seater. And this could be, we want to go on the market in four years in the US with the one-seater. And here you see a design of the two-seater. And the two-seater, we have the prototype ready 
in March and we will exhibit it in the biggest aviation um, fair in Europe in the Aero. We'll have there this is a, as a prototype and it will fly next year also. And it's a two-seater where you sit in. So I talk about our team now. Um, we are four founders and we have a background in different uh, knowledges and uh, we have a lot of research partners. We have four research partners who are working on the project um, and a lot of industrial partners. It's about six industrial partners who are putting also their effort in that. And we have the luck that we have also authorities as partners, meanwhile. The market, um, the first market we'll have for the, will be the flight enthusiast as uh, early adopters. And the real target market for in 10, 20 years is the uh, dream of flying, immobility in the air for everybody. So, we have the luck, we got the legal basis for serial production now, because the Federal Ministry of Transport decided to give us a new kind of air cla aircraft, class of aircraft. And um, we have in the next two years, we will have a new um, class of aircraft. So, um, talk about the funding. Um, for the first stage you see in there, we need 100,000 euros. It was a seed capital by our founders. And for the phase two, what we are now in developing, the two-seater, um, we are funded also by us with 300,000. And we got also a grant from the government of two million. So we need for the phase three to get in the serial production in two years, we want to start. We need about two million uh, euros in for the German market. And if you want to go to the American market, we need four millions for the one-seater. So, um, that was my presentation. I'm sure there will be tons of questions. Yeah, yes, please. Are you considering a range extender? Maybe. Um, that was first we considered a range extender, uh, but now we are uh, have uh, um, counted that we need we can fly about 30 minutes only with batteries with a two seater, and uh, till we go on the market in in four years, for example, the batteries will be going better. So. We uh, think that we can fly just an hour only with batteries in five or six years. Wow. And uh, I've got a second question. I, I think yesterday it was in the newspaper that the Chinese have built a low-cost drone, which is now available for a million dollar only. And isn't that the perfect defense technology? Because it's quiet and you can stay in the air, shoot someone, 
Isn't that perfect? Um, every, a lot of people ask us because of military advices, so, but we, we, our, we decided to choose our partners, also some research partners. They may not develop for our military stuff, so it's uh, not in our interest. Thank you. <laughs> what about landing and takeoff rights under the new um, category for inner city environments? Um, that's what we are uh, fighting with the authorities. Uh, the aim is to, that you can land also in uh, living surroundings because uh, it's very n uh, low noisy and uh, we need only a little space for that. And in that new kind of aircraft there will all be, always uh, be defini defined where you can land and under which conditions. And the plan is to, to, that you can land uh, in industrial uh, um, surrounding for, for sure. But you can also, we hope that we can go close to um, um, living uh, like little cities and like that. So you can, can land, land in your garden perhaps. For in France, uh, we could land in every garden. Uh, there's a regula regulation like that. But uh, in Germany, um, it could be, we, could, we get a good regulation for that. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, a follow-up question to that. You mentioned France and different regulations. Um, should you just pack up, go to America or Australia or Canada and uh, build a business there? Um, Brazil? We were at, uh, this year, we were at, uh, three times in the US uh, for several weeks. And um, there's the FEA rule 103. We could uh, build up a one-seater. You need no license, also no pilot license. If you, it's very light. Uh, and we could build that up. And we are uh, looking uh, for, for a venture capital there, and we had uh, just a half in the pocket. And uh, we can go to the American States uh, as one of the next f uh, early exits, because um, there is a, a, a regulation already exists now for one-seater. And for the German market, we get it in the next two years. And it's a national regulation. But it's the hardest in Europe, so you, you if we got it in Germany, it will be not so complicated it. to get in the other That's European right. countries also. And that would be the two-seater, because it's another class of, of weight. Okay, thank you so much. I'm sure you have a, a prototype in the hall that we can use. It's a big garden outside, so yeah. we can test it. I flew last week with that. Mm -hmm.